I started off singing in a choir, and then it led to the Chicago Children's Choir, classical music, uh, and I was a lead singer as well as a background vocalist, and then, you know, part of the choir, and we traveled all over the United States. And then it led to other choirs, Northwestern Community Ensemble, Kenwood Academy under Lena McLean. So, you know, it, it went from one choir to the next, to the next, to the next. So I was um, friends with Chippy since I was little. He worked for, uh, his mother worked for my father. And he just came over to my house one day in the summertime. We both went to Kenwood and he said, hey, I'm making house music. I'm like, what's that? <laughs> and he goes, it's dance music. And he's like, you still writing songs? Because he remember when I was uh, a songwriter, I started out songwriting at the age of eight. And uh, he's like, I remember that you used to write songs. And he said, do you still write songs? I said, sure. He said, can you write a song to this beat? And I said, sure. And so he said, so can we go and record it? I said, sure. And that's how it went. We went to the studio and I wrote the song in the studio. And it took me five minutes to write that song. And you know what song is it? Like this. La 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 like this. La 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 like this. Just, I decided that I wanted to do more than house music because I've matured as a person as well as my capabilities as a singer and as a songwriter. And I felt, you know, that I needed to branch out some more. So that's where Harmony Phoenix came into play because Harmony Phoenix is my alter ego. And and as all, as Harmony Phoenix, I'm able to do all the other genres that K-Joy is not going to do because I really want to stick with that brand as a house music artist, as a dance music artist and stay with that. And then Harmony Phoenix, I'm free to be whatever I want to be and do what I want to do as a singer and as a songwriter. So that's where it came from. Um, there is a Harmony Phoenix as a part of Black's Backbone has a single called Bleep Lip Bloop. And that has already been released uh, a music video is is in production right now and is almost finished and to promote that that song. It's a wonderful song. It's very um, jazz reminiscent. Um, it it's it, it kind of hard to put my finger on exactly what it is uh, in terms of a specific genre because it 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 mirror it um, basically merges electronic music with live instrumentation because Black is also a trumpet player and a drummer and a bass player and a guitar player. So there's live instrumentation as well as the singing and the vocals and that's what makes the song so rich. I mean, because they're not, it, not only is there a house mix already, but we're also, REB Records is having a remix contest. So we're gonna give out vocal stems for not just for Harmony Phoenix, but for any of the other artists on the label, because there are other artists, there's world music, and then there's rock, and there's all, you know, other artists that are on the label as well, um, such as Theft to the Gallows, which is a group, as well as a production team in TAR 22. And um, any DJ can come to REB, REB Records, to the website, rebrec.com, and they can get the vocal stems and make their own house mix. And then we're gonna have a contest where the DJs will basically um, be, I don't wanna say pitted against each other, but they're, you know, it'll, it's a contest to see which are the best tracks, you know, but er everybody will have the capability of putting the song out anyway, as long as we have approval. And there's like a, a really short, simple contract that goes with it. Um, just making sure that everybody, everything is fair, and everybody gets their fair cut. And um, and then major DJs who are already, you know, out there and they have residency, they have a name built up, they of course would not participate in that contest. But this is more to give DJs who are still trying to, you know, make themselves widely known, giving them a chance to, you know, be a part of this and get their music out a little faster, a little easier. So, you know, we, we embrace grassroots situations, you know, and, and people who are struggling to make it or trying to make it because that's that's me, that's us, you know, and, and nobody's arrived in my opinion. So 
that's that's what it's about. I mean, it's just basically about making good music, you know, as Harmony Phoenix and as Black's Backbone and, and K Joy and everything. So I'm excited. Met um, a young lady in Hyde Park who is a rapper, and she let me listen to something. And she said, "I just started singing. I didn't even know I could sing." And she said, "And everyone else thinks that I can't sing." I mean, well, they, they said that I can sing, but I don't think that I can. And, you know, we are our own worst critics, right? So, a very young, cute girl, you know, and she had talent as a rapper, definitely. And I felt that she had great potential as a singer. And what I told her was, um, you need to get a vocal coach. You, you should always practice, 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 and get someone who has been doing this for a long time to teach you how to sing properly, how to breathe properly from your diaphragm so you're not singing from your throat. These are the things that I learned coming up, you know, as a singer. And that is my advice for any singers, is that you sing, sing, sing as much as possible in the shower, you know, in the car. That's what K-Joy does. That's what Harmony Phoenix does. I sing all the time. As much as I possibly can, I feel like I'm singing in my sleep at this <laughs> And as a songwriter, I know you didn't quite ask me about that, but I'm going to mention it because I am a songwriter, and that's a very important aspect of K-Joy and Harmony Phoenix is that I am a songwriter as well. And a lot of people, they think, oh, she just, she sang like this, and that's what comes from most people. That's the first thing they say, oh, you sang like this. And then I have to add to that, I also wrote like this. And that's a little known fact because, you know, they're looking, they're not looking at the tiny credits where it says Kim Salter, you know. But as a songwriter, you need to write. You need to write as often as you possibly can. Write, 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 write. You think of something, if you've got a handheld recorder, sing it into the recorder or say it into the recorder before you forget your lyrics while you're going from point A to point B, you know, because writing as much as possible will make you a better songwriter. There are also books that you can read about songwriting and things that you can take classes that you can, you know, a lot of different things that you can do. Whatever you decide to do, whether that's being a singer, a songwriter, a producer, a musician, you have to practice your craft in order to get better. That's what K-Joy, that's what Harmony Phoenix, that's what I do. And that's my best advice. I myself, K-Joy, you know, moving forward, I've, I've learned from my past mistakes, and that's how I get better as an artist. K Joy's, i.e., Harmony Phoenix, I learn more about the music business. I have a degree in it. I'm not saying you have to go get a degree in it, but at least read a book or two. You know, go talk to somebody, find out about the, this business so that you can arm yourself and be protected, and then, you know, you'll, you won't be so green. Hi. I'm K Joy, aka Harmony Phoenix. I'm a singer songwriter, and this is F Style Magazine. Go get it. Show yourself. Show yourself.